Well, I have made tutorials in Visual Basic for now, and now I will do it in C Sharp too, or as well. So you would need to have the C Sharp Visual Basic. Just select the Windows form and select the name down here. It's just call a tech tutorial for now, or whatever I type it. Okay, the toolbox when I'm designing it's okay to have it like this. Okay, so I used in common controls to make it easy to find what I want. Never mind the tree last. Okay, so first of all we are just going to you can change the size by doing you see the white out there you can change but now you can change the size and otherwise again. Yeah, we get a point. I play around with the properties around here, most of them is self-explaining. So first of all we can add a text box, if you feel for it of course, and a button. Now this is going to be very unclear, as you see it's a pink purple line, and I get it, yeah, whatsoever. There, now it's, between, now it's indicating that it's in the middle of each control, the control I'm middle set. Okay, so we can, now it's, as you see it's gray here, it's already preset to edit that value. So I don't have to click here to edit it, I can just type like now. And then I'm going to type level. Okay, so this is basically first outlook for a level. Well, let's just rename it to XP since I'm not going to do this stuff. Okay, so now we have this. We can go up to project and add class. Under project, add class. Name the class whatever you want it to, just leave it as it is or do as you wish. Now, you will just have to get this code. It's a new updated class. Now you get some few errors, of course. So you would have to using the import function and I don't think this is going to be solved and this one is not supposed to be here. So there, now, done fix it. Okay, so now you can simply just save it. Now here you can see the path of your projects or solution directory where it will be saved like I showed it here already and here I can find all my all my projects so it will be saved in that folder now I can rename it if I want but I don't bother to do now you are on that so you can simply press the save all or control shift s to save all that will save all the objects all the solution object stuff here. Yeah. Now you can double click the X, XP button, now you get into the code area. Inside here we are going to type the class name, so it's going to be class1, followed by a key name we self choose, I'm gonna, just going to choose Manva V3 for now, equals class1, or what do do? Equals new class1. Followed by the, yeah, forgot it. Well, it's late. Fine excuse. Well, we add this. Okay, now we have to clear the new class. The class as a new class, yeah. Something like that. So now I'm just going to use the monolophic tree and start hacking. Now, string application X. Now I just type in the application name. And this you can find by using your process task manager and you can find a process name under processes and you are not to include the exe you are not to include that so from one law factories iv5 mp as you see i quote it quoting mean is being a string and at the end i'm adding this yeah yeah i'm adding that yeah, that mark. That is the hugest difference from 
Visual Basic to C Sharp is that you're adding this sign. Okay, so now we have enabled ourselves to start hacking. Now we are going to use Mama of a tree again, but now we are going to use right right int. Yeah, pronounce it wrong, so whatever. Now it's asking for an address, it's going to be an integer value, and then it's asking for an integer value and the bytes right. So then we start by getting the addresses. So we are just going to for the level experience, you can simply copy paste this. As in Visual Basic you are adding, adding the nth stuff thing, but you ain't supposed to do that here. You're adding an 0x and followed by the code. 0x is in is defining the value after it to be an hexadecimal value. Yeah, and adding a comma, setting the value. Now, int and first pairs, yeah. And we are going to take the string of what we are going to convert to an integer. You also have another function. You have convert to integer. And be sure it's uh, 32 bit but simplest now is using the in pairs and text box one text and now a new command the bytes right we are going to use a four byte value when you are looking uh, we'll show you later on when you're looking in the byte memory list in cheat engine it's displayed in a one byte value okay so now we have simply made it start write it to and this is also a second class so we can now look into the if statement if means if if something is true false then it will do something so now it's checking if mom of a two mom of a three is running and inside here we're using the if statement we're adding this french curly braces i think it was called and I find it a lot easier to work with it. I don't know why, but I find it easier. You do not have to apply this for the first if statement, but if you are to include more, I think you had to include it no matter what. And now you can simply just add an else under here and type a message box and show the message box and say, mom of a tree not found. And some spawning sticks is allowed. When it's so late, adding a zero instead. So there we have the simple code to check if one of it two three is running and write something to it if it's running. Else it will just display a message that it isn't running. There one of it not found. And if you are to start it. That will take forever, of course. Hmm. Okay, now I'm on Buffet 3 is running. I'm pressing here. Nothing happens. We don't get the error message, but we get an error. Because there was, was no value in the text box. So then we also can go into the try catch statement. Try and catch is to avoid causing problems while the program is running by the user. So if you are to release a program and it will have an error, you can make so the user do not get the error message and will ask to end or continue the program. But this will skip the error, skip the line inside the try and go to catch instead. So you don't have to add anything to the catch now, but for debugging purpose or for learning purpose, we are just going to add the uh, exception and ex or name it whatever you want and inside here we can do message box so ex message will without a code ex message and there now it will display an error message related to our error so now it's sending the reason but it's sending something like the in data format was unvalid means that it has to be an integer value inside that and it wasn't so let us see 
right to the barracks and we're changing our my experience so we're changing it to 50 as you see it changes it to 50 800 800 I'm level 2 hooray so that's basically fast learned how to use it and more will come